GMC. It's the best. No toe wrecker. I didn't forget to remove this long spindle from the pump boost valve. I read a lot about it. I did a Google search and there's so much information. There's one company that sells the Raptor, whatever tranny company it is. Boy, do they have a lot of info on what you can do to improve the shifting and avoid sticking of the throttle valve, which might be what's happening to mine, but I don't think it's sticking. Anyhow, I took this all apart. I actually had it in the right orientation. I took a picture of it from the internet. So that goes in there. And this one goes in here. Like that. And that's the way they stack. This goes in first, then the spring, then this little guy, then this guy, then the snap ring. Let's see if I can get it all put back together and have better luck than I did with the turn signal on the Corvair. I got my Harley radio playing. Not that great of a radio, considering it's a Harman Kardon. I was riding the bike, the volume goes up as you go faster. Don't tell anybody I was riding it, it's not registered yet. Alrighty, I'm going to put this together. And I wonder if I should put the pan on yet, because remember I had it I had a problem with it staying in second gear when I would slow down. It wasn't downshifting to first gear automatically. It was hanging up in second gear. So I'm going to call the tranny place tomorrow and see if they have some advice of which valve that I mangled in the valve body. But I'll put this together in the meantime and see if I get it all together. I'm underneath the truck. I put the valves all back in. <laughs> I had to check it ten times to make sure I had the things in the right order. The little pintle against the spring, the spring up, the little valve. Blah, 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 boy. Boy, and then I didn't bring any assembly lube or Vaseline with so I stuck it up there with my finger and I cleaned it ten times with brake cleaner kept spraying it to make sure I didn't have any garbage in there like all the cat litter that I sprinkled on the ground this is the clean room that's for sure I stuck it up in there and I put the c-clip in with the c-clip pliers and I took a few little tries to jiggle it to get it up past the spot where it seats but it's in there wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as a 204R we did in my Mr. Cruiser 20 years ago. Custom Cruiser. No, not Vista Cruiser. Brome. What was that? 84 Delta 88 Brome Royale. Royal Brome, whatever. Before YouTube, you never saw the car. It was a brown, brown Low miles, one owner car. Mrs. C.W. opened her car door one day in traffic and the guy took her door off. It was totally her fault, so I ended up buying the car from the guy. And uh, Mrs. C.W. had her door put back on. She made a mess, boy. And I bought the car and it wasn't that badly damaged, just a dent in the door, a dent in the bumper. And I smashed it in the back. I was towing a custom cruiser wagon on a dolly just to see how it would work and I didn't strap the car down. Whee! Off the dolly it went into the trunk lid. It's a little rusty, not that bad. Then I drove it one winter, I had no choice, and it got really rusty, and I couldn't stand it. I sold it, and the guy drove it home, and then it wouldn't start. The starter was seized on, and one of the bolts was seized, and I never saw the car again. So I think I got that in place, but I'm going to call the tranny place tomorrow and ask them why it's hanging up in second gear. Before I put it all back together, I may have to drop the valve body again, or maybe I'll just put it together like this, I don't know. I'm not the best guy working on transmissions, or 12-volt electrics. And we'll ride the Harley instead. Why is she hanging up and not shifting? And now not downshifting into first gear on top of everything else. Who knows? <laughs>